In this lecture, we are going to discuss about Linux file system hierarchy standard. So file system is again one of the important things that we need to understand. What is file system? So basically, you know, when we are dealing with any operating system or any server, file system is important, right? We may have heard about the NTFS file system, right? FTS file system, FAT file system. So for normally for Linux operating system, we are using FAT, FAT, okay? And for Windows, we are using NTFS for Windows platform, especially for Windows. All right. So let's talk about the directory structure, how it is looking. In Linux, all of your directories, files, anything, if you take anything, is available under this root directory. This is called root directory. This root directory will contain your all the partitions also whatever you go and you are going to create. Now what is partitions? In our windows, we have a C drive, D drive, E drive is there, right? Likewise, under this root partition, you can create a multiple directories also, multiple mount point also. Let me show you that. So, I'm going to the root partition, first of all. Oracle. I'm just giving my password. All right. Let me clear the screen. When I do df h or let me do one thing. First of all, let me go to the root partition. I'm here. ls lrt. If you check my present working directory right now, I'm inside the root partition. Here, I can see many other important directories are there like user, where, home. Whenever you create any user, let's say you created any user like Ankush is currently logged in. So Ankush user have their own home directory. If you create a, any user, let's say you create a test user, for that test user, the home directory will be there. Okay. But where it will be? It will be inside the root partition only. Whatever you have in the Linux operating system, that is all available inside the root partition only. So based on the different different Linux directory, we have a different different type of directories are there. Some directory we are calling it as a binary directories like slash bin slash s bin slash bin slash s bin. Let me go to that. This whenever you see slash bin is there, right? So slash is inside the root directory. There is a folder called inside the root directory. There is a directory called bin is there. Let me go there. CD bin ls lrt. So you can see that there are multiple uh, multiple executables are there related to the bin. Okay. So like let me tell you one small example. We are using the command like cp command, ls command, rm command, right? Different, different commands we are using. These are all basically a Linux code only. These are all code. These are all executable shell scripts are there, which are running. Okay. So that things, that commands, you can get it inside this, inside this folder structure only inside the. Now, sometimes, you know, you need to slash etc is related to the configuration directory sometimes you need to add you might have heard about the slash etc slash host file which is again a really famous file cat slash etc slash host file even this host file where you are adding the host information about the about this virtual machine so this is a configuration file which is available inside a slash etc only apart from this all the linux command as i said Everything will be available inside this Linux directory only. So we have a data directory is there. Sometime what we will do, we will create our directory like slash home, slash root, slash data also you are going to create. These are all data directories are there where our actual data is going to be stored. Now if I want to show you what are all partitions we have, you can just use the command df-h. And here you can see root which is mounted on this file system slash dev slash sdf5 and what is the size of this root file root partition 59 gb among that 12 gb we have used 45 gb is available but all those directory whichever you can create whichever you can see over here that has been the part of this root partition only it is inside the root partition only so depending on their usability linux directories has been divided into the this multiple part like binary directories 
which is having slash bean slash s bean like related to the shell command will be there configuration directories are a data directory yeah, memory directories user related directory variables and non standard like slash opt and everything will be there so at this point you need to understand that root partition is most important okay i hope this is clear thank you